Hello and welcome to Advent Adventures or our Christmas adventure. Uh, today happens to be Saturday, January 6th, the Epiphany of our Lord. It's the visit of the Magi where they came to visit the infant Jesus. You know, there's, there's something to that visit to see who he was, but there's something even bigger, I think, that is at work in this particular celebration or us commemorating, you know, this visit of the Magi. You know, and it really is to know that Jesus is real, that he truly is the God with us, that we can have something special with us visiting him, with us inviting him, you know, into our lives. You know, we must remind ourselves that the reason Jesus came was for something so much bigger. You know, he didn't come just to inspire us. He didn't come to just share his wisdom, but rather he came you know, to save fallen humanity in accord with the perfect plan that his father had. This is the last of my Advent adventures for this season. Um, and the person that comes to mind is kind of inspired by this message of the epiphany. And it happens to be a, a woman that I worked with for 20 years. She was my secretary while I was at St. John's in Fenton. Her name was Mary Jean, you know, and Mary Jean was uh, 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 just a, a, an inspiration to me in so many different ways, uh, but especially on how we should embrace the good news, the gospel, the living of Jesus in a way that we can bring it to others, that we can help them in their journey. Mary Jean, by, by no means, you know, was perfect and by no means even had the perfect faith. And in fact, she'd be the first one to tell you that. But at the heart of who she was, was living out God's perfect plan by helping others, no matter how hard they had fallen, but she helped them to find God. You know, she helped me, you know, to live by the motto, bend rules and not people. You know, sometimes that gets me in trouble. But sometimes, you know, we have to be where people are at because that's what she taught me, not where you want them to be because you know what? They're not always going to be there, but you can help them to get there. But you still have to go where they are at. You know, she helped me to live the gospel message that, you know what, Jesus came for the sinner, and that is what I must do. You know, Mary Jean challenged me in, in so many ways to sometimes put the book down and just sit and listen. Listen to the struggles, listen to the challenges, and you will lead them to Christ. And sometimes it meant you might not do things the way you're supposed to do them. You know, you're not going to do it in a way that, you know, might bring harm or anything like that, but you're going to show them that love of Christ and that mercy of God. It's like that story of the woman at the well where Jesus went and sat and listened. I mean, he had no business being there. He really didn't because that isn't something that a male in his time would have done. But I tell you, he listened, and it changed her life. You know, sometimes you have to bend rules and, and not people. As you continue or come to the end of this Advent adventure, this Christmas adventure, I hope you continue to go beyond this by being inspired by others, you know, and reflect on that inspiration in your life and where they are leading you, what they're teaching you. I want to thank you for uh, being on this journey with Father Dave and I. It's always a joy for us to have the opportunity to, to share with you and to inspire you. I also want to thank Colleen because she puts in the hours recording this and making sure that it looks good, you know, on the different, uh, you know, the website and Facebook and what have you. you know, so I want to thank her for that. But I just most, most importantly want to thank you for opening your minds and your hearts and listening to God at work through us to you. So continue that adventure of faith and have a great, great day. And we'll look for you as we come closer to our Easter journey, when that'll begin in Lent. God bless.